financial disclosure regarding this art light. I have no financial interest with this art light. I am Dr. Yamni Khan. I am senior consultant of ophthalmology of this hospital. Now I am going to introduce one the latest equipment known as art light. Before that, I want to show the direct ophthalmoscope which we are using for long, long years to see the retina and the optical media. But this equipment has three disadvantages. What is that? Number one, this is costly. Number two, we can't document the retinal findings with this equipment. Number three, it needs battery. So this is not suitable for developing countries. Now, I am going to present this equipment known as Arc Light. You can see this is Arc Light. This is the box Arc Light inside this. Now, I am just putting this in the neck. This is the Arc Light. This is all in this equipment we can use to see the retina. We can use it as a lobe to see the external area of the eye and we can use it for to see the ear as an otoscope. The advantage of this equipment is many. First of all, it does not need any battery. This is the solar panel. We can charge it in the daylight or in the bulb or there is a charging port. We can charge it with the USB port and here is the switch. We can just but the, with the switch, we can just on the arc light and here is the blue light where there is need for to see the cornea with the fluorescent angiogram. We can use this blue light and here is the low. We can use this to see the external area of the eye. This is the way we can see the external area of the eye and this is the low. This light also and here is the lenses we can adjust the lens for the ophthalmologist as well as the patient and here's the white target here's the red target here's the ruler you can use this ruler watch this is the near chart you can use this for near vision recording this is the pupil watch we can measure the pupil size by seeing this here's the complex ratio you can see the complex ratio you can uh, measured from this tissue scale and here is the red test line you can use it this is the clip and here is the white line and definitely this is the side hole now I am seeing the retina this patient yes I am seeing the retina very well but this arc light yes I can see the retina well. For left eye, I have to use my left hand and my left eye. And for right eye, I have to use my right hand and patient right eye. Just like direct ophthalmoscope. If I want to see the if I want to see the external ear, I must use this speculum. There are two speculum. One is big, one is small. Big for adults and children. I can see the retina. I can see the directional here, speculum. And I can change it and I can use it. Smaller one for little children and so okay. This is a speculum to see the external ear and middle ear. This is the device. Uh, I can use, uh, charge this uh, uh, arc light with this uh, uh, with the uh, USB port for 20 minutes. And for 20 minutes charging with the USB port is enough for day long use. Now I request Mr. Basharuddin to show us how to align smartphone with this art light, how to take the photograph and document it. Thank you, sir. I am showing that uh, 
how to use uh, the arc light at first you will need a smartphone with good resolution camera and if you want to take this picture by arc light you have to uh, attach by any permanent glue with your smartphone i am showing that uh, how to use arc light if you want to uh, take picture by using arc light you will need um, a smartphone with good resolution camera and if you uh, want to take the picture you have to attach this align with your smartphone and you have to attach it um, on the on the back side this is the front side of mobile and it is the back side and you have to attach it on the back side and one thing you have to remember that if your camera in any side you have to attach the direction of your uh, camera and if your camera on the middle side you have to uh, you have to attach towards your camera i am showing that uh, how to use this arc light and suppose you have attached your alignment with your smartphone that time you won't need to set up again and again and that time you have to put it in the way and you you can take this picture by using your smartphone now I am showing how to use this uh, smartphone uh, with the arc light. Uh, this arc light, I have attached uh, this arc light with the smartphone temporarily with the rubber band. Now uh, uh, I am seeing the fundus sockets. Look straight ahead. This is the way. This is the way uh, we can see the retina, and uh, just uh, in this way we can document it. Again, if I see the uh, right eye, just uh, I will. Uh, Take the picture of the retina of the right eye, and I will just keep, take the photograph of retina in this way. And in this way, we can document the retina photograph, whether it is diabetic retinopathy or not. My final appeal to all of you and other uh, healthcare personnel is that this is a very very effective equipment. There is the arc light. Uh, this is at a low cost only 7.5 dollar if we purchase it in bulk way and uh, uh, our medical student uh, can be benefited by using these equipments our uh, honorable uh, professors department of medicine department of ENT, i dermatology neurosurgery uh, every department i request all of them to use this and to teach the student and they use this for many purposes to see the uh, ear, to see the retina, to see the uh, uh, eye. And uh, diabetes is a big problem for us. Nine million diabetic patients uh, now in Bangladesh, and 10% of them are uh, suffering from diabetic retinopathy. So this is not possible for the ophthalmologist to diagnose, screen out all the diabetic retinopathy uh, by the uh, only ophthalmologist. Uh, it, it is a collaborative process by all medical professionals, all doctors will diagnose the diabetic retinopathy and will send to the ophthalmologist. An ophthalmologist's uh, job is to treat the diabetic retinopathy and all the medical professionals will help us to screen out the diabetic retinopathy. And by this way, in the future, we will be able to treat diabetic retinopathy in our country. Thank you very much.